Hey guys, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm reviewing the Kiwan K01 Plus electric scooter. Let's see how this thing rides. This electric scooter is quite unique. It's got a super simple interface, a carbon fiber stem, and oh yeah, it's only got one wheel. And it's self-balancing. So when I say I'm going to review it, what I really mean is I'm going to try and learn to ride this thing and I'm going to show you guys how it goes. Now first of all, the Kiwano K01 Plus electric scooter starts in idle mode, where it just kind of stands there balancing itself. It's super weird and it kind of freaked me out at first. I wasn't sure I trusted it, so I just kept pushing it and seeing if it really balanced. After it passed my rigorous will you fall over tests, I figured it was probably safe. So I clicked it into the ride mode, which causes the scooter to tilt forward by about 10 degrees so you can mount it, and from there things got a bit weird. I tentatively hopped on to give it the old college try, and I went about 6 feet or so. Now the trick to this thing is that, at first, you feel like you want to fight it to stay on top of it, and I knew in my mind that I had to treat it like an extension of my feet, and not something that I was standing on, but that's a lot easier said than done. I spent about half an hour slowly getting better and better at riding it in the parking lot, but I was basically just going whichever direction fate was taking me. I wasn't really in charge of the steering, and when I tried to make a right or a left turn, it didn't always go that way. I still felt like I was trying to stay on top of the thing instead of just becoming one with it. So when my drone battery died after about 25 minutes of riding, I headed inside, a bit dejected that I didn't immediately master the KO1+. Plus but I could tell that I was making good progress in just the first riding session. The next day I woke up to a snowstorm outside, so I decided to give the thing a try in the hallway of my building until the snow stopped. This actually turned out to be a good idea and seemed to help. I guess when your only option is learning to ride, or riding headfirst into the wall, you learn to ride. The long hallways forced me to look off into the distance, and the walls gave me something to subconsciously aim to stay between. That proved to be the trick and it's something I should have known from when I learned to ride an electric unicycle. When learning in a wide open field, I was falling all over the place, but soon once I moved to a confined path and looked down the path, I could suddenly ride pretty well. Sometimes you just need to take the training wheels off and force yourself into a new situation where you either sink or swim. Alright, so it was going pretty well in the hallway, so I decided to head back outside. Now things were definitely improving, and I was able to follow paths on the sidewalk, and I was beginning to make decent turns, and basically I was feeling a lot more confident. I even took the K01 Plus scooter out onto the road for a bit. Now I don't know if a self-balancing electric scooter is technically street legal, so I'm not going to recommend this for everyone, but I decided to put my body on the line for you guys here. Plus I figured the road was better than falling off of an elevated sidewalk. And once things were going pretty well on flat ground, I decided to up the ante with riding over some slush and ice, which the KO1 actually handled decently well. I was pretty surprised, so I pushed it onto some light snow next, where it sort of kind of did alright, and then I went for some deeper snow, and that was pretty much a failure. So this is not a snowmobile. Noted. I had hoped to do some off-roading to try out the suspension, but I wasn't really that confident yet, so I just did some bunny hops, and I could definitely feel the suspension working. All in all, I was pretty surprised that I was able to basically ride this thing with just over an hour of practice. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Micah, you're probably some varsity athlete with exceptional balance. Wrong. Look, I'm not what someone would call athletically gifted, unless that person was being extremely generous or playing fast and loose with the term gifted. But in just over an hour, I became decently confident on this thing. And I think that with another week or two of riding, I could be just as confident on it as I am on a bicycle or an ordinary scooter. And at that point, it might not have the same utility as a bicycle, but it would certainly make a statement as a unique commuter vehicle. Alright, so this was definitely a different kind of review than we normally do, but I hope you found it interesting. This is an awesome self-balancing electric scooter, and if you want to learn more about it, make sure you check the description below, where I'll have a link to my full written review, and you'll be able to find out where to buy this scooter. It goes on sale today, and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a quirky but fun way to get around. Alright, if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to Electrex YouTube channel, where you can find all of our electric vehicle videos. See you next time, guys.